do you know these days? Pushing your pen or you pushing your luck? Tell me you ain't tucking my titties for duck. Oh, look, you guys, I'm back to a D cup. Oh, look, now bitches is trying to meet up. VMAs was a family reunion. First time in a while, I seen all of my sons. Keep it a hundred, keep it in a trust. If I lose 99, I still keep it a buck. I don't hear you hoes. I make the movies, I give you bitches cameos. Uh. Here, here, here we go. He trying to make honey nut like Cheerios. Uh. And it's no debate. Pink Friday too. Who up in here? Um. Today is a very special day. Um. And, um, you know, not every day you get clocked, you know? Not every day you get blocked, you know? Um, I, um, oh, well, let's start by saying, first of all, Thank you guys for voting. We won two MTV EMA awards. That's amazing. And apparently I'm the first rapper, female rapper, to win for just best U.S. act. That's amazing. Word to the lead single. Word to the lead single in a rollout, nigga. Fuck you mean. I'm back with my cranberries and almonds. Isn't that so crazy how I was in that bag? Literally. And figuratively. Um, and that now I am I'm back on it, you know, fully blown. Um, and they're so good. You know that what I'm working on today. Well, I'm not only working on one thing today, but they're all very special. Like, and this is the epitome of what an album should be. Um, and you know what? I know that you guys are smart enough to do what y'all gotta do at all times, right? Um, now, I was thinking if I should still put up um, a song on my music player today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So I just got to tap the back, right? See, I don't know. You know, like, I am going to stop playing music. I'm default for now. Because, um,
Am I chewing mad loud in y'all ear? I hope not. And y'all, why is it that I can't just see y'all commenting on this? Why is it? You know why I gotta stop playing music? Because I keep forgetting that. It's been a while, and people are not used to what they're hearing. And so they, you know, they're going to feel excited. Like, y'all want that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, with music, it just hits the spot, right? And when you hear something that hits the spot, especially if you haven't, you know, felt like that in a while, I could definitely understand feeling like, what the fuck? I, I need this song in my life. Like, I, you know, I'm like that with music. Like, Like, I would be pissed if I, um, you know, heard a song and I couldn't, like, keep on playing it because that's just how I am. In fact, that's what ends up taking me even longer to write some stuff of my own because sometimes that just sounds so good. I can't, like, even go to the second verse type shit. But. But I will stop playing music because um, no, I won't. I won't stop playing music. I, you know, I'm. I just. I don't know. I can't. I don't want to make decisions because I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do from one second to the next, bitch. Child. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do when I'm gonna do it. I'm a very unpredictable bitch. And y'all been knew that. I'm a petty bitch. Fuck you, me. But to my bombs, I totally understand if you guys want to log out and come back. And you guys totally understand if I want to log out and come back. And we're on the same fucking page. But what I realized is that those songs do sound pretty good. And, you know, um, Now, as I go and do what I have to do, I want you guys to know that it don't matter what the fuck I do. It's about to do what the fuck is going to do. You know why? Because it's just a fucking classic album and and nothing can stop that. Nothing can stop that. Regarding the next single that you guys keep asking about. Um... Whew, that's going to gag even gaggier than the last fucking stop at the gaggery department. When was the last time I said that? Super freaky girl.
Mm, that, oh, them gags, plural. Them gags, plural. Is gone. How can I help y'all? Hey, sister. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? I'm fine. How How is everything on your side of the what's going? Hello. Yes. Hi. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God! Wait, Nikki. I'm like playing my game right now. I did not think you were gonna accept me. Wait, <laughs> but anyways, Queen, how are you? I'm well. I cannot complain. I'm blessed and highly favored. Amen. What up, Nick? Hi, As you say. What up? What's going on? Not to accept everybody. <laughs> What's up, Nikki? <laughs> Nothing much. Um, today I'm working on something very special. Okay, everyone, mute your phones. Mute your phones. Okay. Okay. I love my bobs. I love my babies because they're so smart and so cute. Now, you guys know I don't really know how to work this, right? Oh, what I do? Uh, what I do? You're good. I think you just oh. muted everybody, but we're <laughs> oh, good. Here I am. <laughs> okay, y'all. So how many people do I have right now that are able to speak? That I just logged in? Eight, Eight? people. And what yeah. and which tab will I see that on? Oh, you just look at the you just look at everyone and you can see everybody's mic off. It shows right there with a mic with a slash on. Oh, got it. Got it. Oh, I wasn't I didn't scroll up enough. Okay, thank you. So, <clears throat> who am I speaking to right now? This person. Uh, my name is Darius Ruboy. You met me. Oh, Nick, Nikki. I'm so glad you ordered. <laughs> you follow me on Twitter. My name is Ruboy. You all met me in Miami. Mm -hmm. Remember, I had on the Louis V coat, and then we took a picture at the hotel after the. Oh, you set a bar at the Dodge. hotel. Yeah, and then you um, you got our car. Our car got towed, and you got it out. I did. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki, you blocked me on Instagram, bro. Oh, you got blocked on Instagram before? <laughs> on Instagram just because you have posted that. Don't tell like, don't tell me why I blocked you. No, no, listen. It, I think you got it as mistaken because you have posted that um you was on Drake album and then the song he dropped the album that was a long time ago and he just sampled your song. And I was like, I I put under the comments, I was like, Nikki, um, you made me run here. Yeah, I said, cause I thought it was a new verse, LOL. As soon as I said that, you blocked me. I didn't even do nothing. <laughs> I, I, why would I? <sighs> you blocked me. I refreshed your page and I was blocked, bro. When he said, when he sampled rule number one to be a boss ass bitch? Yeah. I just said, <laughs> I ran it cause I thought it was a new song. And with the car laughing face, that you blocked me. Oh, so did I, did I say that it was, that I was featured? I, I don't remember. What was, what was, what was I saying leading up to it? Um, you're just like you're just happy to be a part of the album and stuff like that. Before it came out, I said that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I read to listen to it, bro, and I got blocked. <laughs> yeah. Well, so hold on. You know what? Let me tell you something. The Dricky song on Pink Pink Friday too. I was gonna say PF two because I'm tired of tech talk. The Dricky song on PF two is gonna make us feel like we're back in. 
2010, but we are in 2082 as well. I mean, it's just so refreshing. It's just so tricky. Like, he's so dope. And yeah. But yeah, so so my bad on that, babe. <laughs> Nikki, you and your mixtape bad. I just want to tell you, I'm so proud of you, bro. Like, the metaphors and the bars you spit right now. It's like you elevated. It's like you unlock something in your brain and you're spitting something that's so upper echelon, bro. That is crazy. Thank I ain't you. think you can get better. And it's like you, you wow. feel crazy. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, um, there is something that happened that I think um significantly changed my writing ability and um but I'm not ready to talk about it yet. But I, I appreciate that you noticed it. Um, I'm gonna let you go. What city are you gonna be in for the tour? I'm gonna be in Miami. Please unblock me, though, Nikki. What's your <laughs> at? But I, if I follow you on Twitter, case. why you need to be following on Instagram? I gotta watch your page when you go on live. I'm tired of watching okay. off my. I made a filter just for, for you, bro. Okay, what's your Instagram? Rudeboy dot no ig. Rudeboy dot no dot ig. R u d e b o y or i. B o y. Uh-huh. What? Dot. Mm-hmm. No. Dot. IG. Okay. Good night, Danica. Bye. Love you. I love you. Nikki, can I ask a question? Yes. Who's, who's this? This is Eli. Hi, Eli. I've been a Barb since 2010. I was 15. I'm 28 now. Mm. I've been with you. Never gonna, never gonna stop. Thank you. Um, but I'm seeing you on tour. And I plan to see you a few times. Okay. And I wanted to know, I'm considering like New York. I live in Chicago. I'm definitely seeing you in Chicago, but I want to see you somewhere else. And I want to know if there's a, if there's a tour stop that's like the one we can't miss. I'm assuming maybe- What's your name again? LA. What's your name again, baby? It's Eli. 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 Now, sometimes I think that my relationship with the Barb's makes them forget Cause we're more like mother, daughter, mother, son, or BFF, da da da, like that. You're definitely my so, mother. Right. So sometimes I think the Bobs forget that I am a businesswoman and that I run a humongous motherfucking multi-million dollar brand, right? Empire. Yes. So um, so imagine asking a businesswoman. To select a city right now with everybody listening that's going to be more special than the other cities. Eli, you know damn well I can't do that. But I'm glad you said that because it brings me back. I have forgot that I had started this um thing just to cuss y'all out. So hold on. <clears throat> now, Eli, thank you, boom. Because that is a question that y'all know as a grown-ass businesswoman, I wouldn't be able to answer, right? Now, now. The fact that y'all don't understand that in other ways as well, that there are questions that if you had common fucking sense in your ball sacks and it's in your buttholes, you would under fucking stand that you're not talking to your, your home girl on, on the motherfucking um, 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 or, or crate, on, on the crate, on the corner. Not you, Eli. I'm not cussing you, Abu. I'm, I'm cussing out the other ones that was in my nose earlier. But... <laughs> Yeah, so, so, why the fuck would McDonald's tell y'all some early information so you could run back and tell it to fucking Burger King and fucking uh, Mom and Pop Burger? I don't know how else to tell y'all, but that's why I'm off this shit. I'm off this shit. Now, you know why? Because y'all gonna motherfucking learn. To leave Onika Tanya the fuck alone. Now, so Eli, babe, um, so you definitely gonna come to which city, boo? I'm definitely gonna be in Chicago, and I'm also gonna be at Jingle Ball. Oh, which, which, okay, so Chicago Jingle Ball and mm -hmm. Chicago, okay. And, yeah. Okay, well, well, there'll be very, there'll be two very different shows, obviously. Um, so that will be worth it. Um, I'm working on something right now to create uh, meet and greets, meet and greet packages. But let's face it, y'all. You guys know at one time I said I'll never do meet and greets again. Why? Because I cannot 
do anything half ass when it comes to my fan base. And so what was happening was I was just allowing everybody to be able to, you know, get me angry tickets. And then I was in there for like two, three, four hours chilling and doing videotapes and dan and twerking and uh, duh. But guess what? I can't do that anymore, you guys. I have to be a serious lady now, okay? And so, but I, but I want to let you guys know um, that they're working on that. I'm working on something special for you guys. It might not be exactly the way we did it before, but I guarantee you, you'll have a spe special experience. Um, Eli, if I were to say another city that you shouldn't miss, I would wait. I would definitely not be able to say it now. Um, okay. But what I will say is <clears throat> this entire tour will be just like what this album is about to be. It's going to be pure and utter perfection. It's pure and utter seeing an artist reach their full potential. So every show will be amazing. And of course, you know, I have a lot of features. I've done features with a lot of people. So obviously the goal is to always bring people out to make the crowd happy and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, Eli, you have a great day. I'm going to talk to one more person before I have to go. It's almost 1 o'clock here. Okay. Can I say one really, really, really quick thing? Quick. I know that you are hiring barbs, and I just wanted to let you know I'm in music licensing, sync mm -hmm. licensing, so getting artist placements in TV, radio, film. And so if you have a sync licensing department at Heavy on it and you were looking for somebody within that capacity that's potentially a barb, mm -hmm. I would love to help you if that was something that you were you know, interested in. Um, yes, that's amazing. I will have someone reach out to you regarding heavy on it. Um, what, I don't, what is your Twitter, Eli? It's I'm, Eli. Oh, I see you right here. Eli Mirage, right? Uh, Eli DeBarbi with two E's and you follow me. Okay. Pedro, if you're, if you're listening, please write all of this stuff down. You got, okay. Eli, say it one more time. Eli. Eli Da Barbie. So E-L-I-D-A Barbie, Barbie okay. with two E's. All right. I, I, I love you so much. I love you too. And can I just say something to you, Eli? Yes. You are going to win at life. Thank you. That means actually so much, especially from you. You are going to win at life because you are an excellent communicator. Not in the sense of expressing what you mean, but in the sense of getting what you wanted. That means a ton. I appreciate that. Yes, I, I really do mean that. I am I'm very taken aback. I've been re I've been um hiring and firing people for the last few years. And by the way, they're all dope people. Like they're people that I would love, you know, in in real life, but this isn't my real life. This is my company and this is, you know, this is for Papa Bear. Um so I have to make very important decisions about who I hire and who is around, right? Yeah. Um, so, you know, but but I take away something from everyone. Like, even if a person works with me for two months or two years, they still hold a special place in my heart. And most of the times when, when I, after I have to let people go, most of the time they hit me back, find some way to reach me and say, I want to thank you for pushing me harder than anyone's ever pushed me before and giving advice and blah, blah, blah. So we're still, you know, they could still hit me if they need me. Um, but I'm going to reach, I'm going to have someone reach out to you because I thought you were very professional and very, um, like I said, you, you got it. You got it. You have it. You have something. You got it figured out a lot. You have a lot figured out, 50%. But anyway, let's go to the next caller, Eli. We'll hit you. Thank you. I love you so much. Love you. Who's on here? Hey. Should I? Yes. This is Tessa. How are you? Hi, Boo. <laughs> hey. Um, now, I know you have to go, so I won't keep you, but I'll be at the Atlanta Jingle Ball. Okay. So, did you plan to kind of slip in one of the new songs there, or? Yes. Okay. I, I will be slipping in new songs at both of the 
Jingle Balls because I had already promised that before I told you guys that the album date was changed. Um, so yes, I will have a special section on mm-hmm. that show. And um you you know, I'll gag the live. <laughs> and um and did you already buy tickets? I did. I'll be in the third row. You'll see uh, me. How many how, how will you be with anyone else like a barb or your family? Yes. Uh some barbs, like five of us. Oh, uh, okay. That sounds fun. How are you driving there? Is it a far or is it close to you? Uh, it's like two hours away. I'm gonna stay the night. I live in South Carolina, so I'm in between. Okay. Yeah. Did you have a uh, well? Did you, I'll give you a chance to ask another question, Tessa? Okay. Well, I was gonna ask about meet and greet, but you touched on that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Have you ever been to a meet and greet with me? No, I've not been to a meet and greet. Okay. Um, although here a while, I am 28 now too. Mm-hmm. Been around since '09. Wow. Um, I know. So I'm excited for sure. Wow. I'll see you at least two stops. So. You'll see me at least how many? <clears throat> at least two. I'm thinking Charlotte and Atlanta. Okay. In between. So. Okay. Well, Tessa, I really like how. I, what, is that your, your accent because of where you live now or where you're originally from? Uh, well, I didn't know I had an accent, but yeah. This is. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know you had an accent? No, I don't hear it, but thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so you you originally from uh, North Carolina? South Carolina, yeah. South, South. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you um, I will see you when I already follow you on Twitter, so um, yes. so I'll see you at the show. Okay. All right, well, Tessa. I'll see you already. Okay. Bye. Who wants to talk? Nick, I got a question. Yes, ma'am. I wanted to know because I'm going to say your name, to... baby. I'm Brianna. Hi, Brianna. Um, I wanted to know how far apart would like the pre-sale dates be from like the actual tour ticket dates. Um, and don't clock me. Sure, no, it's not. A, it's a very, it's a very reasonable question with the time frame now from the album and the tour announcement. Um. What, the tour announcement will be made on November 17th with that routing, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, if I were you guys, and I'm not I'm not saying definite, I'm just saying if you want to, uh, if I were you guys, I would be prepared for the tickets to go on sale anytime. Like, think about it. The album drops on December 8th, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's two weeks from November 17th. So if I were you guys, I wouldn't I wouldn't plan for more than two weeks, you know? Like it could be it could be, it could be three weeks. It could be but I if I were you guys, I would think to myself, hmm, if it goes, you know, pre-sale people on the 17th and her album drops on December 8th, what if what if what if they try to, you know? Put it out. Put it out around that same time because that actually is what it is. This is the Pink Friday two tour, you know. So I wouldn't. I. I. You guys. I saw some. I. A lot of y'all were saying like, you know, how much time you you think you would need. Um, but you know, I'm just gonna be honest. But if I get any different information, I'll update y'all. Um, but for now, I would say close to you know like December eighth time. Are you there? All right, who who's on you guys? Nikki, can I say one thing? Who's this? Uh, this is this Darius. I just want to tell you, Nikki, I got a clothing brand. Can I please send you something, Nikki? My clothes is really fire. You don't even gotta wear it. Just let me just send it to you. Where where which one are you on my on my screen, boo? The, the, I don't know what number I am or yours. You say is that it, album or something? Yeah, that album coming home. Oh. oh, okay, okay, that album. Um and you want to, what is the name of your clothing brand? It's called Robert Roberto.co. Robert Roberto.co. Robert Roberto.co. Okay. And what kind of clothing do you make? I made some, some urban stuff. 
Oh, if you if you want to check it out, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's real hard, dude. I'm dropping. No, uh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, sh hold on, she by Sheree. Hold on, she by Sheree. Joggers. Hold on, she by Sheree. When somebody asks you, <laughs> oh, yeah, I, my I bad. know, I, I got you, some you, hard. You about to get some so. lashes. You about to get lashes. Be quiet and get your yeah. lashes, okay? <laughs> when somebody asks you. What kind of clothes you make? You better know how to explain your brand. Yes, ma'am. But it's just like my my idol right now. You know, so it, it's it's kind of intimidating. It's not intimidating. It kind of made me nervous. I'm making you nervous. What what city you? What state you from? Miami. Well, Miami. You was born there. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well let's it's real hard though. Huh? I said my clothes is really hard. Do I have like this two piece? I think you'll look really, really nice. Sir. But you've not you, no, you sell me sell it to me. You, from as of now, I've bought nothing in your store. All right. So I got this exclusive <laughs> two piece set. It, it'll match your skin tone, your complexion. You know you a high yellow, bad. You a bad chick. You know. And it's going to hug your curves the way you want it to hug it, you know? And you'll be the first one in it because I got my new season about to drop. And it ain't even come out yet. So it's exclusive. Now listen to this. With all that you just said, with all that you just said, imagine telling someone something is going to match their color and then not telling them what color the item is. Oh, it's 10. I say it's 10. It's 10. It's 10. Yes, ma'am. A 10 color. And does it say anything on the front? It got my RRs on it. I have oh. actually two outfits. And another one, it's like, it's like a camo outfit. The top is reversible. Mm -hmm. So you can wear it inside out. It's basically like two outfits in one. Okay. What is the price point? My price point, it, uh, my price point for the set, for the mini skirt by itself, is $120. And for the top, is $100 for the reversible top. It's you know, quality. It's do you have stuff? Money. You have men clothing or just? Oh, I got men clothing. Why you got so much feedback? You got on your speakerphone? Oh yeah, let me turn the volume down. My bad. The man clothes. Oh, it's fire, Nikki. I got this. But this so you cashmere. didn't even tell me that. What's your name? My name Darius. Let me tell you something, Darius. Yes, no. F. I want you to put Fs all over your shirt because you got an F. On your no, mind. Nikki, listen. Let me, no, you, you hold on and you listen right now. Shh, there he is. I will, I will hang up right now. I should, the lashes you deserve, and I, I'm not even going to give it to you right now because you know we don't air our dirty laundry in public. I know it. But when you get your ass home tonight, I'm going to lash you so damn bad. Okay? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Because I'm not supposed to be having to ask you them questions when you sitting up there trying to sell your motherfucking shit to a millionaire. I, you right, you damn right. I just know you be quick to get off, so I'm trying to say everything before you cut me off. It's how you say everything. Yes, no, you're right. It's learning the words to say in case you only can say a few things. It's key words. Yeah, you're so right. <laughs> and you have so much feedback, and it's aggravating me. Oh, let me turn it all the way down. You, you no. probably can't hear the feedback anymore. Now, Darius, you have a lot of men's clothes? Yes, ma'am. What? Why didn't you say, I have women and men's clothing? <laughs> I have women. And, I'm so sorry. I mean, you, can, I, can, I re, can I reset, please? No. But let me tell you what. <laughs> let me, hold on. Let me tell you this. Yes, ma'am. You know what? This is a great lesson because you know what still has me on the phone? What? A five-letter word, and I've and I mentioned it before. It's the it's one of the most important things after gratitude that I always talk about. What still has me on the phone, and what's causing you not to get clocked is a five. I'm gonna take a. I wrote it. I just wrote it down. I'm gonna take a picture of it. I'm going to send it to you so you never forget. Okay. Even though this is not going to take you all the way. But what has me on the phone, what kept me on the phone with all your 
nonsense of not knowing your brand, Mr. Sheba Sheree, is your charm. And let me tell you something. Charm is a very, well, number one, people are either born with charm or they are not. And a lot of times, charm and gratitude opens doors that talent and drive don't not negating talent and drive because clearly they are at the top of any list but never again will you let someone ask you questions about your brand and not know how to speak clearly and purposefully yes. about your brand. I really appreciate this right now because now I need to like really get on my P's and Q's. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Pointers. Yes, you do. And um, yes, if you tell me how to purchase your clothing, I will yes, place an order within 48 hours. Ooh. I will place an order within 48 hours. So how, what is your what is the website? Uh www dot oh my Robert yes. Roberto dot co not dot com dot c o Robert R O B E R T Roberto R O B E R T O dot co <laughs> but but since you're gonna check it out, I have a new season that I wanted you to but you can't see it on there, so I'll I'll post it for you. Okay. I'm gonna post but it on my but it's Roberto dot co. Uh, Robert Roberto dot co. Robert Roberto dot co. Well, you have a great day, um, uh, y'all. I have to go. I I love y'all very much, but I do have to run. Um, okay, you hang up, babe, and I'll place my order soon. Okay. And um, you'll love work you. on those keywords. Okay. Thank you so much for them pointers, Nikki. You welcome, boo. All right, guys. I know I had plugged in a, a few other people. I love you guys so much for not interrupting. And, um, but I do have to go. I have, you know, th very important things to do. But, you know what? I really fucking love y'all. Love you too. We love, love you more. So. Like, I don't even know if y'all get it. Like, I, to be honest, y'all don't. Y'all don't. And I, I don't have the words to explain it. You know, sometimes I don't even understand. Um, but I appreciate y'all. May you guys be blessed and protected and prosperous and joyful and peaceful. May the church say. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay, Dad, y'all y'all gotta claim y'all blessings, okay? Claim y'all. All right. So, all right. So, y'all, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be back. Okay. Maybe like to, to, so late at night, I might do one or, or another one early in the day like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or, or if I get this in completely, y'all know mother working. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Bye. Have a good one. Thank you, by the way, for letting us be in here. You're welcome. We'll do another one. <laughs> We'll do another one, you guys. I promise. Love you. Definitely. Love you. Bye. Love you. Deandre, what you doing here?